In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the morning, O Lord, you hear my voice. In the morning I prepare a sacrifice for you, and watch. My mouth is filled with your praise, and with your glory all the day. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. For today our reading is the hymn, Jesus, Thy Blood and Righteousness. There are six stanzas in the LSB of this hymn, and the precise background for the hymn is unknown. However, Count Nicholas Ludwig von Zinzendorf, 1700-1750, on a trip to Copenhagen in 1731, met a black slave from the island of St. Thomas, who urged Zinzendorf to help spread the gospel among the slaves in the West Indies. This proved to be a life-changing moment for Zinzendorf, who from that time forward focused his energies on worldwide Christian mission. This hymn is based on 1 Peter 1, 18-19. Here Peter teaches that humanity was ransomed, not with perishables such as silver or gold, but with the precious blood of Christ, the spotless Lamb of God. The themes of cleansing and ransom run through all six stanzas contained in the Lutheran service book. Stanza 1 also addresses the appearance of the redeemed, who wear white robes washed in the blood of the Lamb. These images are based on Isaiah 61 and Hebrews 12. Stanza 2, recalling Revelation 7 and Revelation 19, remind the worshiper that freed from sin, the redeemed may now stand boldly on that great day. Stanza 3 continues Zinzendorf's emphasis on Christ's blood given out of love as the only guarantee of salvation for the sinner. This echoes Hebrews 12 and Leviticus 16 with their references to the mercy seat of God. Stanza 4, the worshiper affirms that the salvation and blood of Christ, that the salvation that the blood of Christ brings is for all, and that it is enough, a full atonement relying on nothing that the worshiper brings, it is solely the work of Jesus. This stanza recalls Matthew 20 and Hebrews 2. In stanza 5, the worshiper is pointed heavenward with full confidence that eternal life is secured only through the life and death of Jesus, Revelation 7 and John chapter 14. In stanza 6, the worshiper joins the song of the saints before the throne of God, the scene of heavenly worship described in Revelation 7 as they lift their voices and praise the one to whom salvation belongs. On Thursdays, we pray for the church and her pastors, for teachers, deaconesses, and other church workers, for missionaries and all who serve the church, and for the fruitful use of the sacrament of Christ's body and blood, which we will gather on Sunday, which we normally gather on Sunday morning to receive. We thank you, our Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have kept us this night from all harm and danger. And we pray that you would keep us this day also from sin and every evil, that all our doings in life may please you. For into your hands we commend ourselves, our bodies and souls, and all things. Let your holy angel be with us, that the evil foe may have no power over us. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. We go joyfully to our work. We will not be streaming on Sunday morning this week because we will be off-site at Camp Lakeview for the annual church picnic beginning at 10 a.m. with the picnic beginning at 11 a.m. To reserve picnic tickets, please go to the church website, faithontheweb.org and indicate the number of free tickets you would like to reserve and plan to join us at 10 a.m. at Camp Lakeview this Sunday.